Yo Agwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be revealing how to fix this couldn't initialize rendering in shared mode error that you may get in FL Studio or which I got, I got in Studio One while I was trying to use the FL Studio ACO. So that is something that can happen as well. But I'm gonna be showing you how to fix it really, really quickly, really, really easily. So stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving eyes. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will have it here, guaranteed. Now, my question of the day, is what is <laughs> your most hated error that you get with FL Studio? This can be the error that you get the most. This can be the error that just annoys you the most. Let me know in the comment section down below. That'll be very interesting. Now, this is the error I'm talking about. This FL Studio ACO error. It's not this one. This is something else, I believe. Um, it's this one okay now i've already fixed this because i needed to in order to get camtasia to work because it, it just wasn't working uh with my mic unless i fix this but let me show you how this is done okay there's there's a few different ways you can fix it i'm going to be showing you the exact way that i just fixed it then i'm going to be giving you a few other ways that i found in my journey to finding this solution so if this doesn't work try the other ones okay so Basically, you need to find your sound device by going to control panel, then going to system, then going to sound. Then you want to go to sound control panel over here. And then you want to go to your, well, it depends on what device isn't working, either your playback device or your recording device. Now, for me, it was my recording device that wasn't working. And at one point, it was my playback device as well. So I'll just show you how this works. You need to go to the device, go to properties. Then you want to go to advanced and it's here. This is the most important thing, okay? This is what is causing the error, I realized. If your bitrate and your hertz are not the exact same as FL Studio, or the DAW that you're using, which is usually 44, 100, yeah? If you go in 4800 or anything other than that, yeah? You may get this error, okay? So make sure it's on two channel 24 bit, 44, 100, okay? That is what you want. And this will fix everything. Also, you want to make sure exclusive mode is not on because this means that applications can take control of this device and make sure that other applications won't be able to use it and that can that can cause a lot of problems okay so make sure that this exclusive mode is not on and that's basically what you need to do now you can do the exact same thing for the playback so you go over here and make sure it's two channel 24 bit 44 100 and also make sure that exclusive mode is not on okay that is the basics. If you do that, that should help you out a lot. That may fix your problem straight out, okay? Now, if that does not fix your problem, next thing you wanna do is close everything, basically. Close everything that may be using the audio device at all, except for FL Studio, if that's what you're using, and see if that works. If that still doesn't work, then you need to restart your computer and make sure that nothing else starts up before you start up FL Studio. When I say nothing else, I mean nothing else that's gonna use sound that's going to be using your mic and yeah basically anything that's going to be using your mic or your output device you don't want that running like you don't want spotify running in the background you don't want google chrome you don't want any of that running you just want fl studio to be the only thing that is using your audio device okay those are the two solutions i know the first one is the solution that i use that actually works the second one is the solution that i saw online that didn't work for me i restarted my thing many many times without any any good news but yeah this this works okay so if i click okay now you should see that everything's basically working the device is probably also, okay is that still running or are you cool now you should be cool now okay so i should be able to hear this if i do that let's see yeah, so perfect. I hope this video has helped you out. If you want to get your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, yeah, and have your beats sounding professional before you even think about going to mix it and add in all those extra plugins, then you want to grab my beat mixing template. Link down below, go to jcartarray.com forward slash guitar trap fl that's for my guitar trap beat mixing template i've got other beat mixing templates as well but go and check that out and you'll be able to find the rest of them 
and find the one that's correct for your genre. But this is what I use for all my beat making processes. It just makes everything way faster. It means that I don't really have to do much in terms of mixing when I'm actually making the beat. And then when I do get to the mixing stage, it's basically all done and all I really need to do is mastering or add effects for subjective flavor, not to make everything sound right, basically. So grab that link down below. And if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. And in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.